Huh. An Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion randomizer. This should be interesting. What's up YouTube, Ben here, welcome to the next video on the channel. Today, we're going to be taking a quick look at the Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion randomizer. So if you want to see more content like this, please do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe. We do remember to hit that like button because it's very important for the algorithm, and don't forget to join me on Twitch. That link is in the description below. Let's get into the video. Alright, so this is an Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion randomizer. Now, this came out not too long ago, and we're going to take a look at it now. As I understand it, this is a very chaotic, a very unstable randomizer right now. So the way it works is, at least as far as I'm aware, um, when you load the game again or when you die and reload, it will randomize NPCs and enemies over and over again. Uh, a lot of quests are currently unbeatable because um, they just are. Like, I don't know why. Like, your guess would be as good as mine. Um, but let's jump in and let's take a quick little gander and at least see if we can break out of the sewers. Uh, I should point out I'm using a graphics mod because uh, I want the game to look as nice as possible. So this is going to be interesting. Like, Comment down below or leave a like on the video if you want me to turn this into a full series. I don't mind. I'll try it. Like, if I turn this into a full series, I will try and see if I can... Um, to do as many of the main quest lines as possible, which would include like the Fighters Guild, Thieves Guild, Mages Guild, Dark Brotherhood, Arena, uh, and the main quest, and then maybe Shivering Isles afterwards. Alright, I want to see if we can get a trick here. So, I am the world record holder for both um, Elder Scrolls for Oblivion console categories on speedrun.com. I hold world records in both any percent and no out of bounds. Perfect. I know it. My job right now. Uh, I just want to equip flare. Yeah, it did equip. What's this prison? Yeah, there we go. So if you pickpocket um usual Glenroy on the right frame while she's talking, um basically it'll just trigger these to go a bit faster. It's a little speedrun strat. No sign of Alright, I'm going to do another speedrun strat here as well. Uh, so if I punch Glenroy five times once we get out of this stupid hold cutscene, uh, they will all chase me, and it's faster. There we go. So they're all going to chase me down to here, which is way faster than waiting for them to walk. I'll let you live this time, Kerr. All right, let's see. Oh, Oblivion Randomizer is ready to go. Okay. So it seems to trigger when you first encounter enemies. That's pretty interesting. Oh, hello. Okay, so all NPC outfits have changed. Interesting. You also get given a spell in this called Randomize. Basically, if you come across an enemy that counts as an unbeatable enemy, um, it will the spell will allow you to randomize that enemy again into something, hopefully... Oh, Black Bow into something hopefully that you can actually get rid of which is pretty cool actually uh that's pretty good uh dark arrows fine amber arrows madness arrows perfect madness arrows damn some decent stuff here actually oh that's pretty good so like i said this randomizes pretty much everything Sea walking, yes, please. Run out Savakari Katana. Okay, 1k gold, damn. Don't worry, so, like, a lot of these enemies can be carrying a bank, then. That's actually kind of cool to know. Uh, sure, we'll write all this stuff. Why not? Raiment of Intrigue. That looks really cool, actually. And it actually looks like something a marksman would wear, because, like, when I play Oblivion, I play as a Dark Elf, mainly because, what the heck? That's, like, partial chameleon. Interesting. Um, 
I play a Dark Elf because I usually switch between um, Destruction Magic and... Oh my god. Destruction Magic and Archery. Which I know that High Elves are better for... Um, so High Elves or Wood Elves? One of the other Elves is better at Archery, but Dark Elves are the best at Destruction Magic. So... Alright, this dude stays the same. Okay. But like I did state, this... Apparently... From what I understand, um, oh, glass greaves. Uh, the randomizer is currently in a state of being unbeatable. Apparently, you cannot beat it. At least, I think what they more mean for that is that you can't beat, like, all of the random, if that makes sense. Like, you can't do every quest. Oh my gosh. You can't do every quest. You can do, like, most of them, or some of them, depending on the randomizer. But well, that's cool. We'll take a look, see if we can get out of the sewers. That guy doesn't rando. It's good to know. I mean, I suppose if he did randomize, you wouldn't be able to get through the door because, um, obviously, like, he needs to have the iron key for you to get out. The game might lag a bit as well. That's not because I'm using a bad PC. Uh, it's because of the enemies. If the area wasn't built with specific enemies in mind, the game can lag quite a bit, apparently. So, um... It's not like I have a bad PC or anything. It's literally because of the enemy randomization. I mean, as far as I'm aware, with the way that the randomizer is built and the way you make it work, I'm pretty sure you could probably do it without enemy rando, but why would you want to do that? Oh gosh, what the heck is that? And this bow is OP right now. What the heck is this? Oh, Will-O-Wisp. Oh gosh. I hate those things. There's a whole part of a quest line later on. You have to fight a bunch of those. They're really annoying. Ooh, potions for days. Let's go. Right, I'm going to ignore the will o the wisp because screw those. They suck. Oh, little doge. Oh, that's a mountain lion. Never mind. I thought it was a dog. <laughs> I thought it was a dog. <laughs> Alright, my marksman skill increases. Grow my dagger. Madnosaur. Madnosaur is nice to have. For those who don't know what Madnosaur is, it's a crafting material from the Shivering Isles. But yeah, because I'm the world record holder for both console categories, you could say that I have decent extensive knowledge of Oblivion, so including a bunch of the glitches and tricks. So it might be possible to do certain quests, depending on like if you could use glitches to do it, I suppose. Longsword of the Glacier, that looks really cool. I'll take that as a melee weapon in case I like run out of arrows at some point. Go away. But I suppose with duplication glitch, I don't really have to worry about that too much, so. Please, please die. Thank you. What the? Oh my god, this thing won't die. There we go. <laughs> what on earth? He just did not want to go. Worm's head cap. That sounds really, really wrong. <laughs> Potion to spell. Weak elixir of exploration. But yeah, if you want me to turn this into a full series, let me know in the comments below, or let me know um, by liking the video. That will give me an indication of whether or not you guys want me to turn it into a full series. Let's say by New Year's Day, if this gets five likes, I will make it into a whole series. Ooh, lockpicks. Yes, please. Oh my gosh. What earth is that thing? Okay. Weird, but okay. Do, 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 do. I feel so OP. I feel really OP right now. Feels good. Oh, that goblin didn't rando. Curious. Or it did randomize just into a different one. Ring of Lordship. Lock picks. Uh, potion of Burden. Exploration. Gold. Repair Hammer. Okay, these guys are carrying lockpicks. That's actually really cool. I mean, there is a glitch I could have done called the key glitch. I could have done it earlier. Basically, if you need to open a door with a key and you save beforehand and then load warp on the door, it basically allows you to, um, for as long as your game is active, like as in, for as long as you're on the game without quitting out to the menu or quitting the game or whatever, um, it will, ooh. A lot of this stuff is worth 
bank. Holy crap. Um, it will basically allow you to unlock any door in the game that has a physical key. Or any chest. So any chest in the game or any door that has a physical key, it will open, which is really cool. Penance of Faithlessness. That sounds incredible, but look at the weight on that. It's 48 weight to carry it. That's kind of rough. Blade Helmet. 1k gold. We haven't even left the sewers yet. And we're, we're not even halfway through the sewers, and we're already making bank. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, wait. Not a crash, but we are lagging. There we go. Again, this will happen. It's not my computer being bad. It's literally... I don't have a bad PC. Like, it's literally just the fact that... Because the like, enemies rando in the air, rando with random stuff. It's not... You know, it's not, like, meant for this area. That's for 15k? Damn, son. Dude, I am making absolute bank. Well, this is redonkulous. Uh, heal minor wounds. He might be working with the assassins. No, he is not one of them. He can help us. He must. And the Emperor's full chameleon. They can uh, let me go with the steed. It gives you a speed boost. It's what you pick in every speedrun category for this game. Come on. Now, I actually had a friend play this, and apparently, according to him, um, he couldn't actually get out the sewers without glitches, because apparently, the Emperor didn't die, <laughs> so he never got the Amulet of Kings. Do you want to keep moving, Glenroy, Boris, Emperor? Do you want to get moving so we can continue? Hello? Hello? You don't want to do that again. Look out! Don't push me. Please. Thank you. Can you guys open the door? <laughs> what is happening? I'm so confused. Look out! Don't push me, prisoner. Well, open the freaking door, then you moron. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> like what the heck, dude? <laughs> he wouldn't open the friggin' door. Oh, hello. This all looks pretty cool. Ow. Blackwater Blade. Okay, a dude wearing the Dark Seducer armor is just wrong. <laughs> the dude was wearing Dark Seducer armor. It looks so wrong. So, Blackwater Blade. It has five damage. Yeah, 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 I know. I'm over-encumbered. I will take a look at that now. Uh, That is so expensive. Damn, son. Uh, Okay, Grandmaster. Oh, yep, yeah, let's do that. Let's drop that, because that's not really worth it. Let's drop that now. I should be good now. Yep. Cool beans. Well, this definitely seems like it'd make an interesting playthrough, because, um, of course, you know, everything being randomized... The problem is, in its current state, like I said, it's it's supposedly, supposedly unbeatable. Which, I don't know how much truth there is to that. Because, um, if, say for example, I don't know if this is true or not yet. But, like, if you get handed an item, if that's not randomized, technically it should be very beatable. Should be. And I say should be because, you know, generally handed items are given for quests. Like, kind of like in the Dark Brotherhood, you get given an order to kill list where you have to go and murder all the members of the Draconis family. So, as I understand it, if that's the case, like if those don't get randoed, then it should be very beatable. He's wearing Daedric armor, I think. Yeah, that's definitely Daedric armor. That's pretty cool. He's got a staff. And the Emperor is just completely chameleon, so. No, I want to make it up here. Come on. We're almost through to the Let me make it up. I want to make it up. Come on. Up there, you. Also, for everyone watching this, have a merry freaking Christmas. This is going to go up on my YouTube on Christmas Eve. So have a very, very merry Christmas. Um... Come on, hurry up. 
So like I said before, my friend said that he didn't get the Amulet of Kings because the Emperor never died. So let's find out if this is true. Wait here, sire. Wait here with the Emperor. Guard him with your life. Okay, well so far it's playing out like normal. Ow! He shot me! <laughs> Wait, why am I over encumbered? Huh? I can go. Oh my god. He looks he looks like Palpatine. <laughs> well he's gone, so. Oops. Well, my strength got damaged, which is kind of annoying, actually. Uh, I need to drop something then so I can freaking move. Uh, I guess drop those. There we go. So this seems to have played out normally for me. Maybe he just got like a bad enemy rando or something so that it just didn't spawn the enemy. I don't know, but it's working for me. Really? Okay. So the quest updated, I got to deliver the amulet, which is pretty cool. So I guess we can continue with the main quest line. That's interesting. Arrows of sunlight. Arrows of winter. Very fine amber arrows. I'm getting arrows for days. Okay, I've got way too many arrows. Um, okay, let's drop those. Keep the arrows of storms. Keep the arrows of sunlight. Keep the arrows of winter. Get rid of the dark arrows. Get rid of the ebony arrows. I suppose get rid of these and get rid of these. Keep those. Because they're all like three damage anyway. So let's just get rid of arrows of sunlight for now. So, I mean, we can take it out of the sewers, so at least that's a result. You know, we can continue the game from here if we so choose to, which is really cool. Oh, gosh. Hello. Oh, what the? Let's get wrecked, boy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm being chased by a Minotaur. Run, dude. Alright, we made it out of the sewers, so that's interesting. This is where the game should start to look a lot nicer, too. Because of the uh, graphics mods I'm using. Oh, look at how beautiful it looks. The game looks amazing. Oh my gosh, so many quest pop-ups. The game looks so good in this graphics pack. It looks so nice. Wait, am I over encumbered? I am over encumbered, aren't I? Yep. Because of all the stuff this game is giving me, it's giving me so much crap. <laughs> like, game, could you stop giving me so much garbage? Okay, we can move. What on earth? <laughs> okay. But yeah, just let me know by either liking the video or leaving a comment if you want me to turn this into a full series. I'd be more than happy to. I love playing Oblivion, so... Anyway guys, that's been a quick look at the Oblivion Randomizer, so if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to please like the video, because it does help with the algorithm, it helps people find the video. Don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to join me on Twitch. That link is in the description below, and I will see you guys next time.